everyone, it's Matt here with Our Down Home Life. I've uh, got our tractor hitched up to uh, a field mower today. Uh, not your typical field mower that you'd associate with a tractor. This one is uh, self-powered. It's a DR field mower. I uh, bought this for easy use. I can tow it with a tractor or I can tow it with an ATV. I've used it once already on half of the field uh, where I've got most of the slope. Uh, I did that with the ATV. It worked great. So I'm going to head down to the uh, part that hasn't been mowed yet and uh, see how it does behind the tractor. So we're down here in the field where we're getting ready to mow. As I mentioned, I've already mowed this side over. I'm not sure how well you can see. I've uh, cut a ditch here behind me. It's the other side of that that we're going to be mowing today. Before we get started at mowing, I'd like to uh, just kind of show you a bit of the mower close up. So what we're looking at here is the uh, remote box, the control box for the mower. This here controls choke, run, and idle. So once you get it started in the choke position, it's just a matter of bringing it back to run and idle if you're not mowing with it. It is a keyed start, so that's handy. The mower itself has its own 12 volt battery. This here will allow you to engage and disengage the mower blade, similar to a, a lot of ride-on tractors. I've just got it tied on here right now with a piece of 14 gauge wire. Here's a quick look at the motor. It's a 20 horsepower Courage from Kohler. The cutting width is 44 inch. Construction of this mower is really heavy duty. This one has a, a two and a half gallon tank. The uh, specifications on this unit are that it will cut up to two inch. Another great feature with this is the hitch. For those of you that aren't familiar with these, um, you can pivot this hitch to allow you to cut an offset. So you can cut with the mower out beside the tractor or your ATV or whatever you've got. I'll show you that here as we get going. But a real handy feature allows you to uh, cut in under trees and that sort of thing. Places you don't want to get the tow vehicle too close to. Well, it didn't quite go as planned. 
I had a look around, I uh, I can't find the bolt. What looks like happened is, is that the bolt that holds, I guess you'd call it the axle assembly, worked its way off. I can say that this is clearly a case of uh, not doing a pre-trip inspection. <laughs> we'll get this one fixed up and uh, carry on. For now, I've got to limp it out of the field with uh, one wheel. So I'm going to try and tie it up to the tractor here somehow and take my time with it and get it back into the, uh, into the shop. is starting to climb here today <laughs> looks like we just broke the lower lift arm huh. that's interesting that looks like it was repaired one time before shouldn't really see rusty metal on the inside of a bar of metal but we'll have to get a pair of those well at least one <laughs> 